Right, saving the planet by growing the biofuel elephant grass is becoming more and more popular across the region. But walkers near Taunton are a little more, a little upset that the 12 foot tall grass is completely obscuring a footpath. So I can't take my eyes off that now. I know, it's, <laughs> and, it, and it is smell. I do, I do yeah, apologise because yes. you can't smell it, but we can. We can. Anyway, we'll concentrate. Our Somerset correspondent David Woodland joined rambler David Patton to investigate the jungle near North Curry. So pith helmet's on, I think. You better um, lead the way, I might get lost. Right. I think we've got a Follow compass, me. haven't we? How do you find your way through? I hadn't dared. I hadn't been in it. Uh, you haven't come out the other year. side? No, 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 no. Well, let's try. <laughs> well, I think we better go the same way, hadn't we? <laughs> this could be the end of a wonderful career. It's quite it's, sharp, this grass, isn't it? What would be um, awful is if it was wet, you'd get completely drenched after about 10 yards, wouldn't you? It's getting thicker. Did I hear a roar of an elephant? I think we'd better use the compass, actually. Take a bearing here. Well, I think we need to be heading south-east. This way. This is not for wimps. <laughs> I'm glad I'm wearing my appropriate clothing for this. Not. Whoops. Slightly embarrassing. You're not giving up, are you? Am I following you or what are you doing? Well, I think you could use that knife, couldn't you, really? Perhaps you should lead the way, because I'm not making a very good job of it. I'd I don't think the Bassets will like this. You can understand and we why. haven't seen him since. No, <laughs> poor old Dave. Well, they should be pleased now because the farmer has cleared the footpath this evening after being contacted by Somerset County Council's footpath officer this afternoon. And hopefully he's found our pith-helmeted duo too, who, yes, like Simon says, never reappeared. Right, time now for the weather with Ruth Wignall. She's here. Public right right of way has pretty much disappeared under elephant grass. It doesn't sound too serious, but then did you know that the plant can grow up to 15 feet high? Andy Allcroft went to find the missing path. In recent years, you may have noticed an exotic visitor to our countryside. You've heard of the urban jungle. Welcome to the rural jungle. Miscanthus, commonly known as elephant grass. Now it's causing quite a big problem for the locals. Where are we, Dave? Well, we're on a footpath in North Curry, but we could be the Himalayan jungle. For years, ramblers have rambled along this popular footpath near North Curry. Now, it's more like a trek. Well, it's quite a trial because you've got to fumble your way through this 12 foot high growth, and the dogs have great difficulty. If I wasn't reasonably fit, I'd be in grave danger, I think, of getting completely lost because, as you can see, there's no path whatsoever. Growing at a rate of 12 feet in one season, this crop really is a tropical beast. For the authorities responsible for maintaining the footpaths, it's a real issue. The problem is as the elephant grass grows and it's at its about maximum height at this time of year, it tends to fall over and block the footpath. And that is what I believe has happened in this case. As for the farmers, it's a harvest with huge benefits. What we're looking at is one year's growth. Uh, it will be harvested probably in April for either organic horse bedding uh, or as energy in a power station. It looks like this elephant in the field is a problem that everyone is talking about. Andy Allcroft, BBC Points West, North Curry. I think it would probably defeat my mower. But here we are. A few hours later, thanks to the power of the press, the farmers run this machine through and it's all clear. All we need now is a signpost and the date and we're there. Well, till next year. <laughs>